I can't do this, and no one's ever going to li listen to these things anyway. Nixon, JFK, all the other leaders, they really didn't understand one very important factor, which is basically the child, the children's vote, the, um, the, the old person's vote. They didn't understand. They just, just wanted to, 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 to cream. Like, they didn't really understand exactly the power of the old person or the power of the child. They didn't understand. Like, like I say, I love children. I absolutely adore children. Like, 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 I wish I could just snuggle them all and love them all. And I like old people. Like, I respect them and care for them for the most part. They get a little annoying sometimes, a little cranky. And some of them are guilty of some things. And it's like, well, you're old now, so maybe you'll stop punching people. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, a lot of them are war people, but I mean, other people. But I mean, they they had to protect their country. I mean, there were, like I said, there were some psychopaths back in the day, like 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 um, Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon, um, the some guys in Africa. They were psychopaths, and also some other people. Like they were a problem. Like we had to find them out, and uh, we hunted them down. And they 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 were a problem. I'll admit it. A problem for me too. Anyway, though. Um, uh, anyway, like I like I say, um, uh, Hitler and a lot of the other people they converted every factory over to guns. All they wanted to do was make bullets and guns and shells. They didn't understand the value of of children's toys or the value of 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 the weddings. Like like I said, I always had vacations for for all my teams that 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 ever did really well. They would go on vacation. That's what all those pictures are that, that 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 they're blasting on TV, saying, saying, oh, the the leaders of the Nazi revolution. It's like, no, those were German people on vacation. Like um, uh, Nixon or somebody wanted to know that, that that the people that they were sending to the death camps were actually dying, and so we had to basically lie to them, pretty much. Like like I said, um, uh, some of the black leaders or some of the black people they were trying to get people killed or something. There was there was a phase there where. Where they wanted to know that these old, these people were were dying or being killed, and I was like, I was like, yes, they are, of course, sure. Anyway, like, there's a box you could check to have your child killed if you if you didn't feel that you wanted them. Anyway, but it was always left up to the nurses, and the nurses would just take them. I would actually what 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 the nurses would do is is they would give them a vitamin shot plus a sedative. They, they would dip into two different things. And, 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 and when the parents asked them what it was, the nurses would say, well, one's a muscle relaxer and another one's a, 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 a pain thing. So they, won't, uh, so they won't feel their death. Anyway, my nurses would lie to them, basically. And then they would give the, uh, the child the shot and the child would go limp. And then they would carry the child out into the next room, which was the recovery room, where they would wake up they would feel fine, and then they would be taken on a bus with blacked-out windows. That would go and take them to another place, and then from there, they would go to another place, which was basically a multi, which was basically a group home. We did not kill anyone; no one died. Um, then these parents would go home usually, and they would rape the daughter or whatever. And they were usually black parents, by the way. The black people, the Africa would adopt boys and girls, and then they would have the the, the, the the white boys since the death, and then they would keep the white girls, and they would rape them, basically. Anyway, some 30 years later, they wanted to know that, that, that those children that they had killed uh, were dead, right? And I was like, oh, yes, yes, they're dead. They're definitely dead. Anyway, 30 years, they didn't even know that that those children weren't dead. Anyway, until later on. Um... Anyway, so I had uh, what was termed on the map death camps because they wanted to know that 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 the that, 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 that these people were going to these death camps and dying, and so I was like, yeah, sure. So we wrote, scrawled it on the map saying death camp, basically, or something like that. It wasn't really a death camp; it was really a labor camp, and they were building a city, of course. Nixon or somebody wanted proof that those people were dead or something like that. I don't really know exactly what the details were. Like like I said, it's a long time ago. Well, how are we talk, talking about death camps? Um, oh, anyway, though, but they didn't understand the value of the old person. They didn't uh, understand the value of free toys. Like I say, 
I would have people make toys, and toy children don't didn't have money for for toys, of course. I mean, these toys are like five, ten, fifteen dollars more than 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 the seed of the farm or whatever, or the alcohol that that that, that, that the husbands were usually bought. So basically, they couldn't afford the toys. So so I would have the toys built anyway, and I would just pay the labor of 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 the toy makers. And then at the end of the year, when the toys didn't sell, because of course they wouldn't, because parents don't really care usually about toys for their children, we would give the the the, the, the toys away at Christmas in December. That's why it's the end of the year. The next thing would be the beginning of the year, and at the end of the year of every year, all the toys that were made would be given away if they didn't sell. So. Children got their toys anyway. Anyway, some children just got little pieces of metal that that <laughs> had little balls on the end. <laughs> it's like it's like, well, I don't want them to get stuck by these things. So, you know, and and some people would sharp would would sharpen them and throw them out in the streets, and, <laughs> and then they would pop tires. Sometimes the toy the, the kids would also throw these little pieces of metal, or like little things and stuff, the little jack games basically. Um, Metal was very valuable, and sometimes the parents would take the metal and melt it, melt it down in, into coins so the children didn't really get to play with them very long. Children would play with just pieces of metal or just a stick, usually. So I was trying to get them like some real toys, like a little wooden car or something like that. Like, 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 like a, a, I had a manufacturing plant, so I could turn out these little wooden cars all day long. I could turn out um, little plastic toys all day, lo all day long. Like, like, like I said, I put a real... I spent like... Three hundred dollars and like um, eighteen hundred or something like that on it or something like that. I put a fair amount of money, a whole manufacturing. I built, we built a manufacturing plant just for toys. Um, at first, it was just a couple shops. I think I had twelve shops or something around the world, and people. One person was paid to basically build these toys all year long, basically, and they would build the toys and then they would give them out. I think they would either. I think they would go one town over or something like that. I did this thing where where they didn't just give them out and said that town they would give them out in another town or something so it was like a surprise or something like that and then we had a manufacturing plant and stuff like that there's an evolution to it basically so anyway um what was i what was i saying a little, little, oh anyway so i had a had a huge following of small children and and then the old people you know we put them in places and i would have young people i'd pay young people to farm for them you know so and and, and even guards to protect them so I had old people support with Lucifer White Star Alliance, and I had young young children support. I mean, because and besides, I'm I'm the creator of humanity and twelve and twelve of the oldest races, not to mention seven thousand seven hundred thousand other life form types: trees, plants, grass, stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure. I was just told it's a long time ago. So anyway, so I had this huge following. I always have. That's why all the churches and and the stars, the 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 stars on top of the uh, on top of the uh, of the Russian thing. I own Tiffany's, and and uh, I had a big you know the the star on top of Russia. That's what that means. They were going to take it down, but then they put it back up. There used to be a star on top of uh, on top of um, the Nazi. Uh, I mean, on top of the Auschwitz. That you you know is. It was, work will set you free, and there was a star, because it was Lucifer White Star Lines. That's what it meant. That's why there was a star up there. They called it Jews and Judaism and all that other stuff, but no, it's Lucifer White Star Lines. Mining, shipping, transportation, flight, the white fleet. The, all the white ships, all the white planes, even white drugs. A white flower that is, that, that is heroin and opium. Ring a bell? Anyway, that's what all that was about. That was me. Those were my white ships. It was my white paint. Anyway. White salt. I don't know, but you know, like I say, I, you know, we, we invented paint. I had cars. I built white cars. I had, I had the first air conditioning in a car. First air conditioning. I had air, con air conditioned trains, too. The first air conditioned trains. And then I built the first car with roll-up windows for the air conditioning. It's a very expensive car, but it sold pretty well, though. They made a lot of them. It's a really nice car. Anyway.